stopping TeamViewer from locking the remote computer is actually really handy because if you don't, you have to not only enter your TeamViewer password, but also the operating system password or the system administrator password for the remote computer. And that can get quite irritating, particularly if you're using TeamViewer on a small device like a phone or something like that. How you do that differs incredibly and really oddly from Mac OS to Windows. So firstly, I'll show you Windows. Let's have a look in Windows. We can go into the settings for TeamViewer here in this options little cogwheel section here. We can right click on the icon at the bottom and go to um, options here. And you just need to go into the advanced options. So sh do show advanced options. And this has a specific area for advanced settings for connections to other computers. Lock remote computer, never. There we go, dead straightforward. But if we go into Mac OS now, and if I go into the options for the Mac OS team viewer, we have an advanced section as well. And we can go down this advanced section and we also have uh, advanced settings for connections to other computers. But there is no option for lock com remote computer never. So I was kind of really thrown by this and I couldn't think, well, where is it then? It doesn't make it doesn't make any sense. They've just kind of decided not to put it in macOS. But it's actually a lot more straightforward, oddly. A lot of things aren't when it comes to that. If you're looking at the connection window in macOS, which I am at the moment, so although I'm in, logged onto a Windows computer, this is logged in from macOS, you can see that the close button has a lock on as well, which means this, as soon as I close this, is going to lock Windows as well. And I'll just show that to you quickly. So if we close that there and then reopen, and I've got to type my password again now. But I've also got to type my Windows password as well. So that's irritating. Uh, so all you need to do is you go to actions, go to lock computer, and then you've got a lock and a lock on session end. And I thought, well, neither of these really make any sense either. But they're not option. It's not one or the other. It is just a toggle. So you just click on that, take th which takes the check mark off lock on session end, and you'll notice that this little lock symbol is gone. So now, if I close this and then reconnect, there we go. Simple as that. It is really, really easy and really, really easy to miss as well. So hopefully somebody finds that useful. I know I was looking for a couple of hours to try and figure this one out rather oddly. I know others out there will probably be thinking, what the heck? This, that's really straightforward. Why are you making a video about that? Anyway, there we are. Hope, hope that was useful. See you soon.